Hi, I'm Art Kaplan, and I head the Division of Medical Ethics at the NYU School of Medicine. Well, we're going to get into a tough subject in uh, this particular opinion piece. Um, can you trust men? And <laughs> why would I be bringing that up? Just partly because probably many women are thinking about that all the time. But we've seen recent advances and announcements about male contraception. We're starting to get closer to pills and gels that might actually achieve pretty effective contraception in men. Historically, the burden has always been uh, when it comes to uh, drug forms of contraception, it's been placed on women. It's partly due to biology, uh, controlling the uh, availability of eggs. Uh, we obviously have had condoms for some time uh, to try and prevent uh, unwanted pregnancy. But in terms of taking a pill or using some sort of uh, agent, men have been uh, off the hook. It's been up to the woman to kind of uh, worry about that. Well, that's about to change. And some people may say, well, great, then men can uh, worry about birth control right alongside women. But that raises the question I brought up, can we trust the men? They don't pay the consequence if birth control isn't used. They're not going to have to carry a pregnancy that they didn't plan for, perhaps they don't even want. Their incentive to use birth control really relies on trust, on doing the right thing, on having integrity, on being ethical. And I'm not against those forces. They're very important, and they lead many of us to do the right thing. But a lot of men still enjoy, in their dating life, sleeping around, uh, one night stands, uh, they're not really that worried about who they impregnate because they don't plan to see the woman again anyway, or they're going to be gone uh, the next day. So the fundamental question behind the use of male contraception and bringing it to market has very little to do with its efficacy. Sure, the FDA has to approve it and say that it works, and we want to be sure that it's safe. But at the end of the day, the fascinating fact is about male contraception, it's a matter of trust. It's a matter of men doing the right thing. Women have an incentive. That's a pretty heavy duty one. Don't have an unwanted pregnancy. Men, not so much. And oftentimes they could avoid or duck or dodge the consequences. So can we trust them to do the right thing? My own personal view is it's going to take a lot of education before male contraception gets up to the level of familiarity of use that we see with many women. Without that education, I don't know. But you'll have to let me know through emails and uh, communicating with me whether you think male contraception has a future if it rides on the back of trusting men. I'm Art Kaplan from the Division of Medical Ethics at NYU. Thank you for watching.